what is mm -hmm. up guys good freaking morning sorry as soon as i was about to go live the the youngest woke up from his slumber and uh had to get him situated real fast so what is up guys how are y'all doing this morning good freaking morning good morning miners what is going on sadie coming here with a good morning crypto crag with the f base kyle rogers with the what is up guys good morning good morning flying brian good morning miners he says the pirate good morning crypto patel what is up my dude chuck danger the cats of crypto meow uh istable zebra good morning good morning what is up guys hope you're all doing well and fantastic wherever you guys are welcome to the good morning miners show hope you have some coffee hope you're here for some good times i hope you are mining the dip because that dip was gnarly what is up gene how are you doing bearded cryptic good morning good freaking morning playing on my tv so i'm listening nice well uh enjoy your game time what game you playing cedric good morning beautiful people well good morning to you cedric you beautiful person you Well, bam, so I was just checking one thing. I thought we had been restricted to the young lady live streaming again. Huh. <laughs> oh, were you all uh, redirected by Chump Change? Did, did Chump Change redirect y'all here? It's like I didn't get notification for it, but good morning, guys. No games PC is mining. Ah, that'll do it. Yeah, I didn't see a chump change raid. It didn't come through on my side. Thank you, chump change, if you did raid. They said CCX raid. I, I, I don't... Weird. Usually we get notifications when that happens. But I uh, did not get notifications. So, thank you, chump change. I appreciate you. It's really weird we didn't get notified. Usually it pops up on my, like, uh, YouTube studio. It'll say, Trump changes street is, like, redirecting to you. But yeah. Odd. Very odd. Welcome, Trump change fam. I appreciate y'all. Good freaking morning. Good morning. Man, oh man, I'm trying to find. I had some stuff open, but apparently last night my computer decided it was going to do an update and reboot. So all of my stuff that I had open closed out. And uh, yeah, so I'm trying to refine everything. Bear with me one second. Bam, bam, bam. If y'all have any questions, put, put them in the chat. What's up? What do y'all got questions about? What do y'all want to know? What do y'all want to know? Do you want to know that you should buy Bitcoin, buy it at cost and hodl it? Uh, Cedric, how are you doing? I'm doing okay, my dude. I'm doing okay. Got lots to do. So little time to do it. Um, I bought some hardware over the weekend. 
uh, or beginning of the weekend, uh, which I'm excited about. I'm excited to get it. I'm a little nervous at the same time, uh, to be completely honest. Submission of another PC build. That's nice, Chris Hanley. Congratulations. What a... Uh, don't don't ruin it for me. Automatic. I I'm gonna be sitting down and watching it. I can finally put a name to a face, Mikhail. All right. Well, welcome, welcome to the show. Uh, I stream on Saturdays for Good Morning Miners, and now I'm also streaming on Monday mornings for a Good Morning Miner update as well as we post videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, and then sometimes some shorts in between. So that is my schedule, but welcome to the show. Yeah, no spoilers. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm ready to watch the show myself. Any thoughts on the modified FK33 Forest Kid and FPGA? Um, from what I know, they're great. They're better than the original version because uh, you can push them past the limitation of 75 watts, which is pretty great. I would not push it past 100 watts, though, because you will probably blow it. So I do not recommend that. But other than that, yeah, they're great. Let's see. <clears throat> 56... 100x 32 gigabytes with a 5700 XT black case white interior sounds spicy I dig it post pics and DCA's discord whenever you are done sir 19 CPUs wow I'm slacking man I'm slacking no CPU rigs here Picked up two B450 MOBOs. What did you buy? Sorry, I'm, I'm pulling it up, Kyle. And trying to catch up at the same time. One second. I can get this thing open. Boom, boom. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Can we get it? Why does it always do this? like it's like my stream deck is like frozen there we go it's like eventually it'll catch up but anyway so this is what I went ahead and bought guys I am now an official owner of a 12 by BC 250 uh, rig from Azeroth. I did not pay this price. As you can see, I paid $645. I put in a bid and I officially won the bid. Well, it was a little back and forth. But yeah, we have 12 of the BC 250s on the way in the case and everything i'm i'm excited nervous because i've never messed with these before um and i am like out of power so that's where we're at i 
I'm interested of how loud it's going to be. Because it's got a bunch of tiny fans. So I'm curious of how that's going to play. Uh, but yeah. So they're selling like each one of these cars for like 150 bucks. Uh, and there's 12 of them. And I paid 645. So, I mean, just in cards alone, you're looking at it around 1800 bucks. Um, that's not including the case and the power supply. Uh, you know, so overall, I think that's a dang good deal. My power went over the budget this month. Oof. Yeah, what do you plan on mining with those? Yeah, I plan to mine Warthog. Um, around 2,000 watts. Give or take. It really just depends. Yeah. 2,400 watt power. Two 1,200 watt power supplies. 2,400 watt total of power supplies. Uh, I don't know exactly what the power draw is, but depending upon the coin you're looking around, I think Warthog was 1,900 watts, and then it goes down from there. Yeah, she's, yeah, I know. I know. Have If I wasn't on, like, EV rates and had really good power, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother with this. Uh, but, yeah. Pretty interesting. I was going to buy a bunch of, because uh, it requires... 12 ethernet cables and then i would need 12 usb flash drives in order to run like hive or i think you can run, S run smos on this or mmpos i mean if i'm not mistaken um yeah but i ended up and went ahead and bought this right here which is only 11 of them i went ahead and bought a singular one which is sitting on my desk somewhere. I think I moved it just so I didn't mess it up. Uh, yeah, but I went ahead and bought this and I think I got an offer in and out the door for 49 bucks for 11 of them plus $10 for a another one. And they're all 120 gig, 128 gig M.2 SATA solid states. So. Not bad. I think. <clears throat> Honestly cheaper than buying. Uh, USBs. I was rather. Like. Like literally. I was rather shocked. Of like how expensive USBs are. Like, I was rather shocked. Uh, looking at 12 USBs, I was looking around like 60 to 70 bucks. Like, for 32 gig uh, USB 2.0s. Not even like 3.0s. So I was like, it's not really worth it. I, if I could run these solid states and have better reliability and getting them for like 49 bucks, that's kind of the best way to go. Douglas says you can PXE server boot and save on SSDs. Brother knows how to shop. I try my hardest to find really good deals. Um, if anyone's ever needing hardware, like just let me know. I can usually, if, if I don't know where it is, I know the people that do. I should get into the reseller business, but I don't have the upfront capital of buying a bunch of hardware. If I had a bunch of just money, I'm not going to lie, I, I would buy all the deals that I always find because some of them are just too dang good, but I just don't have the upfront money to do it. One day, one day. I got my SSDs off eBay, similar to yours. Nice. 
Yeah, that same seller had uh, 10, 10 more for sale as well, but they were a different brand. So if anybody's looking for SSDs, I think, I think he still has the other set. No, no, he sold it. Yeah, the other, the other one was too good of a deal too, but it's hard to do it by yourself in my opinion. Yeah, man, it really is. It really is. So 12 BC 250s. Uh, right now make just under $10 a day or 14.21 warthog at nine, 1900 watts and that's just the cards so after like the case itself drawing power you're at 2000 watts oh my gosh like I like the hiccups and the burps so I might mine warthog but I might go with like Abel or Ironfish um, just due to the fact that it is half the power consumption, but it is like a little less than half the earnings. So I, I don't know. It's kind of a hard one to choose because uh, after electric, you know, I'm making about 609. So, I mean... It's kind of an easy, it seems like an easy choice to me is mining either one of these two, not mining Warthog because of the high power cost. But the other day, this was like $45 and it was like insane. That's what, that's what got me to, that's what got me to buy it. I saw the 45 and I almost, I, I pretty much yellowed into it. It was between this and another Bitcoin ASIC, and I should have bought the ASIC, but yeah, here we are. I haven't mined a single iron, so uh, neither have I, technically. Technically, I've mined a lot of iron, but... Uh, I've mined it on unminable, so I've never held any iron. I don't own an ironfish wallet. Um, nothing. I I don't hold iron. None of it. I'm not the biggest fan of iron. I'm not a big the biggest fan of the project, but the earnings are good, and I turn it into Bitcoin. So it is what it is. I zoned out. Hey, what up, Bearded Cryptic? Welcome back. <laughs> so, yeah. That is kind of where we are at. But that should be here tomorrow. And the drives don't come in till the halving. So. All I need to do is upgrade my main breaker at the pole for my well house. So that way I can add another breaker. Everything is already like set up and ready to wire in. I just need to upgrade the breaker. Then I don't have to worry about power. Now, apparently, um, Biostar is launching a ARC 750 with an OC at a affordable price. That is the apparent uh, goal they are trying to achieve here. 
it's pretty basic. Uh, looks like they are MSRP is 249, but it says in reality it can be found for less than $200. So BioStar is launched, has launched an Intel Arc A750 for 200 bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. If you're looking to buy A750s, that's pretty freaking cheap. Pretty freaking cheap. KY seeing for mining gives me eczema. That's hilarious. So I feel buying Bitcoin A6. Yeah, Bitcoin A6 are forever though, Kyle. I mean, Litecoin A6 are pretty much long term as well. Cubic lost me at sign in. <laughs> but yeah, pretty interested to see uh, how those do. As well as, I guess, a GP repair shop shows a box of 200 melted RTX 4090 connectors from just one month alone. That's pretty sad. He even looks sad that he's having to repair 200 melted connectors in one month. That is so sad. Was the cable mod company? Oh, yeah. So sad. Yeah, uh, they canceled the angle adapter because they were melting. Jeez. Crypto Bidel, what a space mesh. I have no idea. Dakota Miner, what's the FOMO on the Avalon Nano? Uh, it's just a good home, like, mini ASIC. You know what I mean? Four tera hashes for less, I think for like 120 watts at the max, which is great. Yeah, it, it makes 30 cents a day, but it is a good quiet home ASIC. I was going to buy one, uh, but then they... <sighs> Sorry. Then they released that they were uh, going to be behind on shipping times until sometime after May. Then uh, Mineshop.eu sold out. And then I bought the BC250. It was a cascading effect. But that's just a nasty, uh, nasty dipping. Oh, Cedric, what'd you say? I didn't see it. I bought two Avalon Nanos. Nice. I was going to buy one, but I don't feel like waiting till after May. I know that I for sure uh, will potentially buy one afterwards, like after the after they officially relaunch again, I guess, or when people start getting them. I'll reevaluate, but I want a nice home ASIC. 
I have my S9, which is technically a good home ASIC. If tuned properly. I'm going to get redirect for Serpent Set before I forget about it or don't see it. But yeah, so, I don't know. I've never messed with uh, Space Mesh. Never messed with it myself, personally. Ordered a blue one. Brains OS, nice. Yeah, I like the blue one. Well, that fire cell on ore though, man. Jeez. 80 bucks. And they're talking about a V2 chain. Everybody started selling off tokens. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. She will fork in the future. Uh, you think? Oh my gosh, come on. There it goes. It's like, man, my uh, my my stream deck is still, like lagging this morning. I had to press that button like four or five times before it ever even thought about changing the scene. It's no bueno. I don't like it. I don't like it. So yeah, what other, uh, are y'all buying GPUs? Are y'all buying ASICs? What, what, what are y'all doing? What, what's the, what's the plan, mining fam? Luck and skill. It's always nice when that happens, right? Always nice when that happens. Picking up two GPUs today. What kind of GPUs are you picking up? Come on, spill the goods. What you getting? I would love an ASIC, ALF ASIC, but the prices I saw so far gives me Eczema 2. Yeah, absolutely not. I would not buy that $9,000 box miner. Nonetheless. Just imagine how expensive, like, the big boy ASICs are going to be of ALF. Like, just think about that. If the box miner for 200 watts is $9,000, imagine what a 3,000 watt ASIC is going to cost you. Like, think about it. It's a little ridiculous. Then I can only imagine, like, the hash rate of the bigger ASICs, what they'll be, right? 
I can only imagine. Like, people will never ROI on a $9,000 box miner. Ever. Maybe. Maybe if, like, you get yours now before all the other ASICs at the market. You know, but if you're not getting it now, it's not being like shipped to your door now. I don't think there's any, there's no hope. Just kind of chilling for now. Summertime's coming. Yep. Yep. This is the last thing that I'm buying for right now. And then I got to make sure I am prepared for summer, for the summer heat. Zebra 4070 Super into 3070 Ti. 3070 Ti is by far my favorite card. That is what's in my main PC and I love it. The 4070 Super though, that's interesting. Let me know how that is. Or let us know. I've been uh, eyeing those. I like the 70s class GPUs. They've always been like the best bang for a buck in my opinion. 70 class has been great. Crypto crack, shutting down the farm after the halving for maintenance for a few days. Then I've put off lots of stuff to catch up on. Yes, I hear that. I'll be watching that one very closely. Because I run my ASIC at home. So, I'm going to be watching that fine line of like, how profitable will it be, right? I think I'm making about 10 or so dollars a day before electric. There's, yes, there is a 4070 Ti Super. Yep. Yeah, new hardware day is the best day. These are facts. 100% facts. I have too much in the basement. Jeez. Yeah. I thought about the grow tent. Well, hive being poopy might be a good time for maintenance. Yeah. Those are facts. Hive OS is definitely doing issues. Did they ever update the foreman issue? Which issue? Which issue exactly? We'll go into low power mode. What are you buying yourself? More FPGAs, more ASICs, more GPUs. Uh, no more ASICs until after the halving. Um, I bought the BC250 rig. I don't know if you were here for that, Cedric, but I bought a 12 card BC250. Um, I bought that and then I have my BCU 1525, my VU9P chip, is at Osprey getting reballed currently. Um, but uh, that that's it for now. Oh, the overclock one. Oh yeah, no, no, you have to manually set the the wattage for the Epic boards. Yeah, no. Nope. It's kind of stupid. I think HiveOS got hacked. Uh, according to them, they stated that they were not. Like, they physically said they were not. So, I don't know that they are. I don't think they would say they weren't if they actually weren't. But uh, it definitely is irritating. That's not that's for sure. 
I know I had cards that were getting extremely hot. Um, I had a buddy of mine, like a very close friend of mine, who had 3090s, and his 3090s overheated uh, because they went full tilt. He had eight of them that went full tilt and overheated. Two cards don't work. The power supplies no longer work. He had to replace, replace the power supplies. He had backups. So he replaced those, but he still has two cards uh, that are not coming back. So I feel for him. That's for sure. I know my cards went full tilt. Jeez. That's crazy. I need to see this morning. Wow. Remember NordVPN? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it does suck. Am I late? Oh, yeah, you're very late. Retro mine. Like, super late. Luckily, my OCs were in the minor uh, config and not high UI, so I didn't lose anything. Yeah, so, like, I lost my overclocks. My cards went full tilt. Uh, my 3060 TIs were pulling, like, over 200 watts um, and dying inside. So, that was sad to see. Uh, my 3060s were pulling, like, 120 watts or so. Um... My A2000s were maxed out. They were pulling 75 watts uh, or 70 watts. Uh, it was, it was wild. Um, I was, all I did was change my flight sheet and all my clocks came back though. I've lost my mind and I'm solo mining with my F1 mini. Uh, it's okay. No, no mind losing here. Blame my mom when she called. She sends her love. Hey. Tell her we love her. And hopefully we get to see her again this year. I will be a mining disrupt. That is a thing. So. But uh, one thing you did. Uh, one thing you did miss though. Is I did buy a 12 card BC250 rig. So that is a thing. Yep, that is the thing. Yep. Sorry, my youngest child is throwing a temper tantrum. It's been great. <laughs> Yeah, it was not pressing on power supply. Keep it on Warthog and off of Varus. Oh, I'm not going to mine Varus with it. I don't even know that I'm going to mine Warthog with it, personally. I don't feel like paying for a 19 to 2,000 watt power bill for that thing. I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> Yeah, he was, I mean, he was pushing his power, I guess, he, well, not really. It was a X12 with eight uh, 3090s in it. So, I mean, he had the space. He had all four power supplies in there, you know what I mean? It's like, but he lost two power supplies. It's pretty wild. Yeah, 
Yep, yep, yep. Sorry if y'all hear like the the kid like wailing. Tried to turn it down a little bit, but I still see it registering here and there. I mean, technically, there's already new bit streams out, Gordon. Uh, you can mine Graham now. If I'm not mistaken, from what I do know, Carlson's coming. So we'll get, uh, we have Graham now, then Carlson, and then there's there's always new bit streams coming. FPGA mining is a long game. I never recommend selling your FPGAs, ever. Because the moment new bit streams come out, they're extremely profitable. Uh, yes, yes, it is Golden Wolf. It is the rig that Soat's crew has been buying off the same uh, reseller. Apparently, apparently the same reseller was buying was selling them for like five hundred bucks a month ago. I wish I, I wish I bought one then. Could almost bought two for the price that I bought one. But yes, it is the PS5 chips. Yeah, I ended up getting it for the bid was 645 after taxes it was like just under 700 bucks had free shipping no hard drives I had to buy hard drives I didn't I didn't opt for USBs because actually buying USBs would have been more expensive so we ended up with uh, 12 m.2 I mean, I have a 28 port switch. I got, I got the ports. I got a 28 and I have a, a 42, I think. And a 12. Yeah, you need, but yeah, you need 12, uh, network cables just for one. Which is going to suck, especially for the way I have all my cables routed. It's the one thing I'm going to have to buy network cables. Dang. I mean, I can make my own ends. I think I have enough raw cable. I think. Hmm. I don't know. I gotta think about that one now. I might be out of raw cable. Dang, I didn't think about that. Good point. I know I have the switch space for it, but I need more cables. Yeah, running the wires for it is not going to be enjoyable. I'll probably end up labeling each one coming out of the out of the like which card on the BC two fifty it, it is like rig it's coming out of, and I'm going to label it again on the switch side so that way I know exactly which one's which. Not that I think it's going to matter. But yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Probably have to buy more raw. Don't forget about Digibuy Odecrypt. We always have that to fall back on. Just a little more work to compile and keep up with the time based bit streams. Those are facts.
thought about trying to just for the giggles get try to mine ore on every single one of them because I thought it'd be absolutely hilarious. Just for the giggles. Someone had a great idea of using those BC250 rigs for an internet cafe company. I mean, it would be ideal, right? You got four of them? Like four by 12? Or just four cards in Taker Guy? Wow, bro. Integra guy. <laughs> loud as... That's what I've heard. I've heard they're super loud. I, that worries me. Want to help DOS the Solana Network go for it? <laughs> I definitely contributed to the factor, but I was using my own RPCs. So, I wasn't congesting the free RPCs like the rest of the plebs. But, in like, hopefully a few days, they said by the 18th, the new Solana... Uh, CLI should be out and it should fix the congestion and we should be able to get priority fees like on the network which would be kind of interesting people will be able to pay stupid amount of money for making their transactions faster they are effing loud yeah that's what I was afraid of I haven't seen it yet, Retro Mike. Send me a send me a link in Discord. Pretty please. That way I don't forget. So I'll probably forget. They have a lot of good uses, like uses. Each one of those PS5 blades is like very strong. I was just gonna buy one. Uh, you know what I mean? Personally, I was just going to buy one just to like experiment with, but then I saw the deal for all of them for that amount of money. And I was like, it's kind of a no brainer just to buy the, the bulk. In my opinion. like 150 per card or 700 for 12 if I turn around and resold uh, like all of them I would make double my money and then I could just go buy more but I'm not going to do that Thank you, Retro Mike. They are effing loud. That's. Are they like ASIC loud? I mean, I have an ASIC. You know what I mean. So I mean, when the S19 J Pro like gets warm, it definitely hollers. So is it like ASIC loud or is it louder than that? Or is it like what's minor loud? ASIC's got nothing on the BC250 chassis. <sighs> That's what I'm afraid of. Ugh. Jeez, that sucks. That's gonna suck. Time to get like some sound deadening uh, AVA area loud. Oh, gross. 
Not looking forward to that at all. Not one bit. Wailing Banshees. Nice. Which way does the airflow go? Does anybody know? Uh, Integra guy. This helps if my screen would turn. There we go. Does the air go in this way? Comes out here, right? Comes out of the holes. Right? So it comes this way. Because this is perfect if it is. Because that's the way my orientation is set up. Let me know. Let's play. Standard, it goes out the USB outlets. But I have flipped my fans, so it's the opposite as the flow and temps are a little better. Really? Like pulling the air out of the case? Instead of pushing it through the case? Makes sense. I'm going to leave mine the way that it comes personally because that actually works in my my rack setup. Though I might have to sound deaden my walls in my well house. I mean, I can hear my ASIC. So if I can hear my ASIC sometimes, especially when it's like wailing, I can only imagine that I'll be able to hear that. can only imagine. So, yeah. No problem there, uh, Golden Wolf. We're about to head out of here anyway, because it is over the 10 o'clock mark, and our boy Serpent is currently live, and we are stepping on toes. So, I guess mine are pulling, not pushing. I might flip back if I get a 42U right. Nice. Yeah, our boy Serpent is alive. So I do want to head over there and not step on his toes. So if you guys have any comments or questions, put them in the chat below real fast before we skedaddle on out of here plus i got work to do outside today so yeah much love guys thank you all for coming and being here today i appreciate all of you that have hung out this long thank you all so freaking much remember mind the dip it's important and make sure to like you know hit the like button subscribe button that bell notification Every time that we go live or post videos here on the channel, that way you get notified for that. I would greatly appreciate that. And, uh, well, if we don't have any comments or questions, we are going to skedaddle out of here and head on over to our boy Serpent and say what's up. So when you get over there, be sure to let him know where you're coming from. I would greatly appreciate that. And so would he. Not a problem. Have a fantastic weekend, y'all. Enjoy yourselves. Stay safe, stay hashing, and stay savage. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.